All right, so welcome back to Walking Dead. What the fuck's the problem? Oh my gosh, this is where Billy kills Barry. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! right here and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not now what I need who the fuck I don't know but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out okay what's the uh the series it helps the choices you make the story is stated by how you play let's go telltale games and Association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Okay, I think we're in Savannah now. This is kind of ghost now. I hope they're gonna find um, the parents of Clementine. Episode for around every corner. Clementine. Uh, Just not. for a little while, we're uh, getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His How's leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Uh, Kenny, how much farther? Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Okay. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? <laughs> Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? What is that? Um... It I got for thee. Okay. Those guys are like this spell. To get me to die. Run. Everybody, run! Let's go, Omid. 
push them. Oh no. Kitty! Shoot him, shoot him. Okay, okay, Kenny, Kenny, let's go. Don't you think? No, Ben, help her! Step up, Ben. Oh, come on, Ben. God damn it! Thank you, thank you. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh, where's... oh no, Chuck. Oh, shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Uh oh. Careful, Chuck. I'll get the door. Oh, come on, I'll meet. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Yeah, let's see that. Let's see that. If we talk to Clementine first. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Ah, uh, no, they didn't see us. No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. I don't worry, them. Hey, okay. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> I think She's I just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Be cool, call me. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Just hey, sit tight. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, okay. Looks like something was buried here. Okay. Dog house. Dog house. It's a fun thing. Enough to drink that yet. Okay. Get the shovel. The shovel is never not useful. I'll get this. Liam will be able to bust through that. Okay, okay, let me talk. Let me talk to Kenny first. Um, How's it coming? coming? Found a way in yet? Doors locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. I think anyone think is inside. Maybe someone's still inside. Nah, we'd have heard from him by now. All the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. If we could just figure out how to get in. Are you hey, holding up? How you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Okay, Maybe okay. you should have a look around, see what you can find. Okay, Ken. 
bug window. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Um, so Ben. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. And let's talk to Ben. Ben. But then. About what happened back there on the street? I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I yeah, hear you. I saved you, Ben. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks pretty solid. But then... How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna right. find a way. Let's stop against the plan. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Yeah, Clem. Be thankful. What's in this third mount? I don't think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house first. If we're not gonna dig that. So what's in here? Okay, where are we supposed to go? Okay, here, here. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I yeah. have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> we learn something. All right, so... Where's the dog? Okay, so this is where the dog is. And I think we're gonna let Clementine get inside. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Them? What's buried down there? Uh, Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Sorry, Clem. Oh, God, the smell. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Get it off. Oh no. Oh. Okay, that is not cool. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? This this gonna be the dog. Okay, talk to them. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I yeah. hope so. It's getting cold out here. Pick them. Okay, let's go back to Kenny. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! But we're gonna you need see someone. anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Oh no. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Oh, come on, Clem. Clem, are you okay? Say something! Clem? Uh -huh. Good 
Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. You did good, right? Yes, you yeah, did. Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Everybody, let's go. Okay, I think we're inside. We've got a mid here. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. <laughs> so who owns this house? And so, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest uh, of us? I, don't I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Um... Uh... Let's rest I think up. we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Meat's feeling better. Yeah, yeah. just have for the meantime. You best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Yeah, don't worry, Kenny. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> all right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Okay. Okay, Ken. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, we got some empty cabinet. Any water? Nothing. Something. Water's off. There's a bag of chips here. A dog food. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay. Get some wake away. No power. Yeah, because it's a pocket. Dog food, let's check the dog food. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Okay, get some dog food here. Grandfather clock. Must have stopped working a while ago. Get the butter of me. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Stay ball. What's this note? Looks notice? expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Okay. How's it coming? Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Over here. Let's check this door. Open it. Oh. Oh, it's Nothing just a bathroom. Here. 
this is not exactly my style. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's a dog. Let me talk to Christa and Omid first. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. Ah, uh, your leg feeling better. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. <laughs> about this. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. Yeah. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. And Tori. Finding this house. house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Okay, let's Sit stop. tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lee. Okay. Let's talk next to Clementine. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah. No. Sorry, Clem. I'm just gonna finish it. Finish checking everything in the house. What kind of door is this? Okay, open it. Oh. Okay, that's a cabinet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Check this side of the house. Oh, no, no, no. What's this? No, 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 zombie, please. Jesus! Oh. Okay. What? What happened? I think there's a zombie. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Oh. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Um, go ahead, Clement. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. Yeah, yeah. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Oh, no. What's Lee, happened? you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What happened to Kenny? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. It's up there? I can't get him to come down. Is he still up there? Stay here. Stay away. Let's go. Let's go to the attic. Slowly, slowly. Kenny? 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 What happened to Kenny? You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. I think there's someone dead. Duck. My god, is it duck? Go. 
Sam looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. I'll take care of it. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I yes. guess we'll find out. Get to the zombie. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her where I did. Sorry, kid. I'm sorry. Oh no. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. the kid on the photo he looks like duck it's very him oh what wonder what happened to chop So that's why we didn't close the dog. Sorry. Where is Chuck? Oh my gosh. Someone in the Hey! Hey! You stay the hell away from us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence. Watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? 
I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kimmy? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, that's we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! Hmm. Someone can, don't be like that. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We can't right, we can't now. right now. But you promised we'd go find them when we got here. On the train, you promised. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. Oh, they're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear, while I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you oh. hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. the right choice that we left Clementine here. This way straight with Collins. And still pretty down. Huh. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Not again. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Uh-oh. What in the hell is going on? That work, Clementine is. Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Keep on being guys. Still nothing moving behind us. 
I think we're. Oh my gosh, what? Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Okay, Ken. I didn't have a choice. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Let's spray it. Damn. Built solid. Again. Don't think I'm gonna see anything until I find a quarter. Oh, there's still a zombie. That's right. But I don't. Oh, fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Or do something like this. Oh my god. Is the right point? There's some marking. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Maybe some sign? I hear, here. Let's check this out. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Um. Someone already looted the place. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Thing. Another marking. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? What do they mean? Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Let's see. 
paper machine. Looks like it's still intact. So maybe there's a machine here. Locked. Yes, siphoned. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Hallelujah. Let's bunk it up. Okay, there's a part there. Time. Let's go. Let's go. Over here. Here's some quarter. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? <laughs> what the... What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Abandoned. Plenty of docks, no boats. Yeah. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. A boat, a boat. No way that one's salvageable. No sign of any boats down there. Nothing. Penny, nothing in here. No way that one's salvageable. Oh, there's a man. What the hell? Who's that? Get down! Get down! Who are these people? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a Sounds plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Let's go, let's go. What the? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh. I click it. No! Is that Clem? Clem? Please don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. Crawford? Have you been following us? Following you? Kenny, don't! Oh my gosh, Ken. No, he's with us! Who 
the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah, yeah, what happened here? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Yeah, why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Um, what? Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Okay. Why no children? What do you mean, no children? Why not? Yeah, why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Oh. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Yeah, maybe we can ask about Clem's parents. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Since oh. you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Oh no. Where right. they are. Just... Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a. Okay. Just 
gonna let her go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please don't leave us! Yeah, please. Come on! Make it fast! Come on, Kenny. Fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Come on, come on, come on. One good jump. Oh my god. No, Hurry. Oh no. I'm cornered, I'm cornered. Okay. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Yeah, just walk it. Uh, come on, Lee. Oh no. Oh, it's dead. This is a bit dead. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. thing I need is some god awful disease. That's what it's like. What's it say? Okay, this is luck. Another dead rat that's over here. Okay, that's a song. Oh no. There's no way I could take out all of those things by myself. Center this passage, please. Don't turn anymore in that direction. The other side. Seems loose. 
Oh no. Shit. Seems kind of bad. Let's use this. And we're back. So we good. Oh no, oh no. So I think there's a zombie here. Oh right, right, I remember this, I remember this one. Let's go over here, let's get out of this tunnel. Low low. Wait ahead. Um get this pipe over here. Get inside. Oh, it's Chuck! Oh my god. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You oh. deserve better, old man. <sighs> oh, it's Chuck. Solid. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. Okay, okay. Try to pry this. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. Um, this one. Damn, I can't reach it. Oh my god, you can reach it. Oh. What the hell? What is... Oh, there's a secret passage here. Let's get inside. Fallout shelter. Okay, okay. 
place. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. There's a bunk bed here. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Yes. And I think we can use this. Oh my. <laughs> Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, you don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's yeah. to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on, let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, no. no. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Yeah. If you've got sick Aye. people here, maybe I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? I don't know, all kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. Vern, we need medicine. Joyce is in a lot of pain. I can't bear to see her like this. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe so. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Okay, I think I picked the wrong decision. Let's hope that um, Ben found some medical supplies on the house. Clementine? Clem? Oh no. Ma, 
Charlie? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Thank you, thank you. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. Oh, no. What medical supplies? Uh, I like to heal. Uh, sorry, Doc. Had to get you on board somehow. Well, you just get better and better, don't you? You have to help us. Please. Sorry, Doc. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Uh, are you okay? I can... Sorry, talk. I didn't want to Clementine. like you. Clementine? Where are you, Clementine? Clementine, you here? Sam, where are you? Ain't got time for that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Bedroom door. Hello? Oh, it's Molly again. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? No, where's Don't Clementine? ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay, there's some buckets here. I don't here. care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Yeah, okay. Not over here. Clem, where are you, Clem? Clementine? You up there? Shit. Where could she be? Now where, is she, where could she be? Clem? Clementine? Let's check everything. Everywhere. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Yeah, maybe she's hiding somewhere. Let's look over here. Clem, you in here? <laughs> I here's, here's Clementine's drawing. Clem's drawings? But where is she? Hey Clem, where are you Clem? I'm kinda worried about you. Where are you right now? I'll be going downstairs now. Clementine! Come out! Please! Where is she about you? Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good <laughs> job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? 
found it. First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Give me some, some of that. Right, let's talk to Kenny. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. Yeah. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own. With no one watching her? <laughs> Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Okay, so Clem is outside. Clementine? Oh, Clem. Clementine! Maybe she's around here. Doors coming. the closest here. Maybe in the dog house. Nope. Okay. There's still a two. with a shrub. Oh, it's inside. Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember this one. What the hell happened back here? We went into the bend. Doors coming in. open. Lem, are you here? Lee! Hey girl. Hey girl? Come look! Look what I found! What's inside his head? That's some supplies. Oh, that's a boat. Let's talk to Kenny. Let's talk to Kenny. This was here the whole time. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, on the face of Kenny. Uh, how's 
Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Okay, now what can... Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Um, the good I think news. we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Let's search the street. We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I can lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've yeah, thought it about work. it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? Are we going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Are you in or out, Ben? Just We should stuff. go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. It's I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Ah, you're gonna... Crawford. You're gonna follow me again. Uh... I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. And get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. No one okay, else okay. is gonna die. I promise. I promise, them. You can't promise that. I guess... No, I guess I can't. Sorry. Sorry, Clem. I guess I should go get ready. Oh. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? I know. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. 
For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Sorry, Clem. Can't I come with you? Okay. Okay, yeah. you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Maybe we can... Uh, maybe... Them will help us. Some... Tough situation. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Okay, who is she? Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Um, how? Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Let's get moving, guys. Oh, hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Yeah. We're a team here, guys. Okay, so only the only one who's gonna left in the house. I think it's, this is the right decision. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Let's go, let's go. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Start this mission. Start to pick. Let's go. Go, guys. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. I think that's already good. What the fuck? doing inside here get inside fast I get inside fast I think this is a cup
Um. Oh. Uh. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I think I know which way to head. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. I got a bad feeling about this. It's okay, it's okay. It's gonna be our sacrifice. Just keep moving. Here. Slowly, guys, slowly. Looks okay. Everybody in. Okay, we're inside now. Where's the supplies? It's locked. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. What's that? Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just uh -huh. makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, you're telling a lie. You will. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? The boat There's a board. maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Where's Clem? Okay. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Back before you know it. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the rock here. Hopscotch. No power, no TV. Some books. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. One dollars. Creepy. Doctor Ben. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know. Uh, You're plenty useful. useful. Huh, yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. What if it's your choice? I guess you've got your own problems. Look, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna get back to this. Oh, yeah. Complex. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. The globe here. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Just a bunch of paste. Talk to Clem first. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Um, so do it's I. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Hey, yeah, American history. Do you history. think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I think yeah. so. It may take a while, but yeah, I do. Don't you? I hope so. And that's cool. Good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Okay, what is it done here? Already set the. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this all in this medical condition must be disclosed to the consent of the reporting that administrative administration. Um, must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Locked. Uh, didn't need to use a bathroom anyway. Where am I? This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But 
Where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Where is Molly? Guess I'm not going that way. Authorized motor. Where is that? Oh my gosh. Ma Luther will be shot on site. Damn. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. How are we going to supposed to go over there? Um, Libra's made in. Authorized water pool. Oh, must be down this way. One's locked. Where are we supposed to go? Over here? Or oh, maybe this one is open? Or this is not the right way? What is happening? There you go. Oh, yeah, it's here. Can take a step. Oh, come on. Don't break. Look at the garage door. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Can we open this? Let's open it. Oh, that's Damn. so heavy. It's jammed tight. Over here, better not get too close. There's a zombie here. Oh, my God! Leave him, he's mine. Where have you been? Where the hell have you been? Oh, maybe it's one of the crows. Right? Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? I think you got it. One more! <laughs> He's wearing like... medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh no. It's a big one. Come on. 
shit you. I'm pressing the few now. Let's go, let's get inside. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Sure, sure. Thank you, Molly. Rockwood. Hey, there's a battery. Here. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Fine. Go to the office. Final. It's locked. No way in. More of Crawford's uh, rooms. Look up Why the anybody live like back. this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Okay. Oh, I got it. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. I the panel. No power. I don't recall. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. But it. Okay, let's talk to her. Something you need? Uh, so Crawford. What do you think happened to Crawford? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Uh, about the what was the all alley. that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Hey, can I borrow your hook? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Oh no no, can I borrow your hook? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I can't reach it up there. I got it caught. Okay, is that good? I did it. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Come on, me. Oh. Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off. Let's go get it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Skylight. It's 
shot. Shoot it out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't fall up. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. And I think I can do it. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Okay, okay. You can... What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Nice. Okay. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! How about Damn Molly? It, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> we'll look over here. Oh. Damn. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. It's taking too long. Okay. Can't open it without the combination. The combination logo. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Nope, not going back to the alleyway. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Oh my god. Little help! Little help here! Ah, uh, let's go for something. Fuck, the doors won't close all the way! Lee, do something! Just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Yeah, she better be. Bree? No offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is about Vernon, I did what I had to do to get him to help us. I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So, if there's nothing else... Hey, I don't care about you. Let you die. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. 
I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. Alright. Okay, let's go to Penny. Let's talk to Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Go outside. I wonder where's the code. Let's look at the empty locker. Nothing in there. Sounds like there's a shit ton of walkers out there. What the door? Locker. Shit. Oh no. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh uh oh. Are they safe? What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. And There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Take time to rest later, I think. Um, copier. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. This one. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. The clock. Not working. Phone? Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Let's pick it. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? What's this? Um, I think there's a code here. Oh, fair enough. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Uh, thank you for coming with hey, that. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Hey, don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for my people. They need this medicine as badly as your friend does. How about Molly? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Yeah, kind of. Um, How much about time Omid. do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. 
Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. No tape inside. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a tape here. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Okay, so what's the code? Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go, let's go. But there's still... Okay, there's no more... Zombies in. Okay, the bloody locker. Can't open it without the combination. Okay, let's go back to the alleyway. 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 <laughs> Just need to be careful. Going now. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god. There's me. Where's the guy? Okay, that's him. Let's kick him. This is definitely the guy. And I think this is the definitely the guy. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. Oh, this Vernon is the said code. the safe combination was only four numbers. Stop reading it, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, time to go. Okay, let's go, let's go. We can unlock now the log uh, Logan. Wait for Logan. Locker. Another tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Let's go. 
Let's go back inside the nurse office. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Okay, what's in the what's in the tape? Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Okay, he's dead. I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Ah, uh, what's wrong? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Okay, okay. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch the third tape. Maybe Molly is that girl. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh. Then here comes Molly behind your back. Well, shit. Okay, um... Go. Okay, we're good to go. Our item. Get some walkie talkie. Oh no, no, no. Oh my. Oh, it's Jesus one. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Come on, Molly. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. So, are we done? Well, okay. Let's... What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here.
Oh my god. What are those? That's that noise. Oh, oh Jesus! Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked what by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Shit! <laughs> Wasn't me. Going, kid. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Uh oh. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck. <laughs> Man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skin in the last later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I wanna do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Oh. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Yes. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh no. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Ah! 
Oh no. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Thanks, Ben. It's shooting time. Oh my gosh. Come on! here this leads to the roof we might be able to find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yeah why never mind i can see the sewer where we came in from here i think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go come on let's go Oh no. But what do you the bed? Ben, Hold on, Ben. I've got you. Ben, climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. Lee. Lee. We both know. Oh no, Ben. Let me go. Uh, whatever. Why? Go, go, go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! He dead? Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Oh no. Oh. Uh, hey. <laughs> back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, yes, Doc. thank you so much. 
Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Okay. Hey, Doc. I'm Let's sorry. Care. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm going to make you an offer. What offer? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Oh. Be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Wow. Wow, dog. Oh, there you Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Yeah, take care. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing luck, to do with luck. luck. Hey, let's talk to Prem. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Oh, he That's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Sorry, Clem. <laughs>
Ah, oh, that's the wrong key. Maybe those off. Uh, Clementine. Oh no, what happened? Clementine? Hello? Everybody left me. Clementine? Clementine! Oh god. Hey guys, what happened? That guy from Idea? I wonder where he's been. No. 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 I'm been fight. No. No. Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We need to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's thing? settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. I'm sorry, guys. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, Asking you to put your life on the line? Would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. What about you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. You know, uh, I think it'd be best if you stayed behind with the boat. Don't worry about me. What's important now is that you get out of here. 
get to safety. Okay, if that's what you want. Maybe this is for the best. It'll give me a chance to talk to Kenny, try to make things right. Somehow I gotta make it right. You're a good kid, man. You're gonna be okay. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Okay, Can't okay. speak for this one. He might not make it to the river. You're still gonna take me. Even Ben. Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. At least we have Ken doing the boating to the other side. <laughs> oh no. There's no Clementine in here. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Uh-oh. There's a walker. Where are they going? Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy! Oh, it's Vernon. Put Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This is. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Yes. Did the garden then? Ah, uh, uh, this is a mistake. One day, Hippocratic Oath. Oh, one day, and we do to grow food. Um, I got it. The band. For the head, nope. The bite is very, very, very bite to the. Who came with? Seven per okay. I got eleven per cent. Okay, nice. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye.